What we're seeing today is, is in fact, the opposite of what many uh, American leading politicians and China experts predicted. Development and prosperity have yielded a regime that curtails dissent and independent political activity more than it did 5, 10, or 20 years ago. And we're seeing now what I would call the new China paradigm, which is and one that could apply in other countries like Turkey or Egypt, which is um, that in a modern authoritarian society with a sophisticated security system, um, the more prosperous and educated a society becomes and the more there are stirrings from the public towards development of a civil society, then the more repressive that the, the state will become in response in order to prevent greater threats to its control.